Hi, my name is Carlos, and welcome to a quick episode of A Pause for Cinema. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Before you get into the main idea of the video, I'd like to introduce you to Thelma Schoonmacher. She's probably one of the greatest living editors today, and if you're aspiring to be an editor, then you listen to what she has to say. Thank you very much. I'm very proud to have this. When it comes to editing, Schoonmacher is of the utter belief that you should only make a cut if it's justified. And in her 40 plus years in the industry, her edits have shown nothing but justification. What this means is that an editor should always be on the lookout for a change in the frame. If an actor looks away, we can cut to what he's looking at. But if they hold their expression for long enough, giving the audience a new perspective every second of the shot, then we don't cut until it's necessary. This is my main problem with the new clip released for the Assassin's Creed movie, coming out later this month. I'm aware that studios will often give footage to trailer houses to cut into clips or trailers for marketing, and that the final film will usually end up different, but take a look here and decide for yourself. Are these cuts justified? One thing I noticed in the 30 seconds that this clip lasts is that they try to use editing techniques from Mad Max Fury Road, in that throughout several points in the clip, they cut on the same subject so as to speed up the time. Where this clip gets it wrong is that they use two camera positions to show the same action. Not a single shot throughout the whole clip tells a complete idea. In Mad Max, however, while they do cheat a little by covering the action with the flare, the shot remains the same, and when they speed up the shot with the cuts, it's stationary as well. This stillness allows the audience more time to process the action, because if one shot lasts barely more than a second before moving on, the audience is still trying to figure out what just happened before the cut. Editing like this is extremely disheartening, because even when we have great examples for how to cut action, filmmakers still want to dance around with the camera, color grade the scene darkly, and disorient the viewer to create feelings of chaos and anxiety. For all the resources and knowledge that we have today, I wish filmmakers would just take advantage of their positions in time and edit the scenes with more clarity. Techniques like these are outdated. The last time hyper-editing was in style, it was the 1970s, and it wasn't even for grand action scenes like these. And what's even more discouraging is that a film made during the black and white era has better shot choreography and editing than today. This is Stagecoach. It came out in 1939. And when it comes down to it, I might be totally wrong about Assassin's Creed. In fact, as a fan of the video games, I want to be wrong. All I can say is that shooting and editing action doesn't have to be impossible. It just takes patience, practice, and skill. I want to see what filmmakers can do with those. That still only counts as one!